yo 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 my people hello guys welcome to my channel um so today i want to show you guys how to master afro beats or how to master your beats so this is a very very simple tutorial and believe me it will be very very short so let me just show i i was making these beats the other day i uploaded the video so my guy called so I want to show you guys how I ma how to master how to master Afro track. I want to master the beat the other day, so just try to follow me. Yeah. First of all, you check for the tempo. You detect the tempo. I'm already easy. I embedded here, but sometimes you can check because this one I made the beat, so I know it's one sixteen. Then you fix it there after normalizing it putting it in the track yeah so on this track now let's hear the big let's hear the sound on to master <laughs> it's ready made it ready you made it this is Asha K sound. Um, my guy J Rush called it the other day, so and these guys really it's ready like, made it. So I want to show you guys how to master Freddy made it after track. Okay, let's let me dive straight into it now. So first of all, use my EQ. It's ready, made it. And some of the highs. Ready. And some of the highs. Then I also add a little bell. A little bell bump. Yeah. At least around those 11, 10k frequencies just to open up <laughs> then next i add my eq beta mica uh -huh. So I'm cutting the lows. If you can see, I'm cutting to like 300. Oh, sorry, 37 hertz. Yeah. Sometimes I <laughs> just you need to listen to the sound to the low end properly, so you don't just uh, cut some of the low frequencies that actually builds up the whole sound. You get me? If you get what I'm trying to explain. So sometimes I leave it at 30. <laughs> then, you know, since it's the low frequency, I, this EQ section, I use, I take it down to like 300 hertz. I just find it to in the place I want it. Most of the times, this is low frequency, I usually take it down to 70 to push the beat upward. I narrow the width. Yeah. It's ready made it. Ready made it. So now I add my glue to glue the beat up so just to tame some of the frequencies. It just creates Ready made it. See how I'm. Um, see how it's compressing. <laughs> oh, minus one dB. So I'm just taming it, just to tap it down a little bit. <laughs> you know, you need to set it with your range properly. So. <laughs> so 
so now i'm routing this one now i'm sending it i want to send it to a distortion and a stereo bus that uh, texture um so let me open gt sat distortion g sat sorry so i'll be starting off with just a stage two sound but it'll be, it just will be there is no vocal in it so i can go deep with saturation but not very deep though so i'm not using any compressors here just the stereo so i'm turning off the compressors so what i'm dealing with here is just the bands and the stereo <laughs> Freddy made it. Freddy made it. Then, saturator that I can split the frequencies of the saturator and add different flavors. I have that, but I don't want to my PC to delay so i just move ahead with this one so now i i want to push the beat up a little bit not actually pushing yet but to still control how loud it is you got me so so yeah i'll be using this um, uh, my frequency limiter i'm using tdr 